Why on earth would Marshall, the pastor here, say, Joel, I want you to get your eyebrows on stage and make the case for the no site? And I think that there's no better way, no, no better way that's encapsulated than this line from the great Prime Minister Tony Abbott. He said, modern Australia has an Aboriginal heritage, it's true, British foundation, it's true, and a multi multicultural character, it's true. A lot of immigrants here. And what could you think of as being a more insulting line than the line from the left, people like Albanese, Marshall Langton, always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Sovereignty was never ceded. I mean, forgive me, but the Indians of this country, the largest growing immigrant you know, population of this country, what do you think they make of that? What do you think of the Middle Easterners, the Wogs, the Italians, the Greeks, the Lebanese, the Syrians, like myself? What do you think they make of that? Excuse me, my father came here when he was four and he has helped build more churches in this country than the white liberals. You know, the uh, Malcolm Turnbulls of the Liberal Party. You know, excuse me, these people have a right to this country as well. We're not going to allow Aboriginal people that have suckled off the teat of the state off your hard-earned taxes so that they can secure $33 billion every year. How long has this been going for? What do you have to show for it? Nothing. Just like any other corporation, the board should be sacked. They should be gone. Why is it? Why? And you know what? It's so nice to see the Liberal Party finally come around to that view that we should oppose the voice. But forgive me saying, Senator Hansen said it straight away from the start. We should be opposing this on principle. This is wrong. This is enshrining race into the Constitution. This is an Australian country with Christian values. Our Anzac soldiers' blood paid for the freedom that we enjoy. Since when did we think we were the people that were going to allow people like the basketballer Shaq to come over here from America and explain to us about what Australian freedom means? Since when were we going to add a new chapter to the Constitution to allow the Aboriginal people of this country to basically create a kangaroo court, a new high court to this country? No. The Australian people of this country, the immigrants, the children of the Anzac soldiers, the Aboriginal people themselves understand what this is. This is a sham. This is an absolute sham. And you know what, what makes me really dirty about this, being someone that operates online, is the idea that the American corporations are aiding and abetting Anthony Albanese in pushing this voice by censoring the no vote. No, this is not okay. And with your permission, uh, I would like to ask uh, my friend Elijah Schaefer up for 60 seconds. Please come up. Who is Elijah Schaefer? Well, the left in America, they brought Shaq here. Albo thought it was a good idea to bring, to, to bring Shaq here. Elijah, you're, you've got a large American following. You found a lovely Queensland girl, and you've had a lovely young, uh, young, young boy in this state of Queensland. What's your position on these fact checkers? What, what do you think their role is on the referendum? I will say this. I would like your applause with me here. The American fact-checking censorship regime has no place in Australia telling us what we can say or cannot say. Can I hear your voice uplifting this to hell as Christians, to hell with the fact-checking regime? Thank you so much. We love you in America. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, brother. I think Albo's idea of uh, bringing the celebrities out to this country was a big mistake. On the 14th of October, when the Australian people vote for, in this country against The Voice, I truly believe it'll be our Brexit moment, as in the UK. It'll be our Trump 2016 moment, as we saw. 
And we're going to see a situation in this country where we, where we truly quantify how big the freedom, the Christian, the conservative vote in this country. And it is a resounding no to the voice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and thank you for allowing me up here. God bless you. Thanks, brother. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. So good. Turning Point Australia. Let's